What is going on, YouTube? It's Spook from Fort Misery Gaming, your favorite uh, pocket magician. I don't even know what that means. We're just making up words now. That's how it is. Uh, we got a new banner, and uh, it's a thing, I guess. So we got Green Merlin after having gotten Red Merlin, and Blue Merlin is nowhere to be seen. Um, now, originally, this was a split banner with the Hellroom, um, which was a pretty big PvP deal. Um, she is pretty good. Um, and I think there might be a little bit of banner fatigue going on, considering uh, this and some other things. Uh, JP players aren't too happy, and global players don't know what the hell's going on. So we'll uh, cover Merlin and then go over some of the other updates that happened this time. Uh, so her first move is Sphere Explosion, uh, inflicts a whole bunch of damage to one enemy, can deplete uh, either one or three ultimate move gauge orbs at rank three, which is real good. Uh, and then she's got Perfect Cube, which is uh, you create a barrier for percentage of your attack. It's not too bad. Um, any kind of defensive on somebody who's going to yank uh, skill orbs off is pretty good in my book. She's very annoying in PvP. Uh, her skill info is pretty good. Uh, it's almost the same as... I think it's pretty much exactly the same as Red Merlin, which is Exterminate Ray. It's 540% uh, attack on one enemy, and it disables attack skills for two turns, which is um, kind of backbreaking in a lot of occasions, as you uh, may have uh, uh, figured out. Uh, the Tornado Sever is her combined move with Arthur. Um, it does the same thing, it just does about six. It does about 90% more damage on level 1, so 630 instead of 540. Uh, pretty cool animation, too. Um, I have just enough diamonds to do one summon, so we'll just do it for the vine and see what happens. I don't expect it, because it took me two pities, or a pity and a half to get Vaughn. But I did get him, so that was cool. Well, we might get something. Probably not, but why not? Let's go. What do we got? Nothing! Nothing with my life! So that was pretty awful. Um, but yeah, Merlin's... Depending on how hard you went on Green Bond, um, she's worth grabbing. She's very good in PvP. Um, she's good at a lot of content because of the ultimate orb grabbing and just the defensiveness on a semi-offensive hero. Uh, utility tends to be very strong, just ask Blue Gother, who we didn't see this week in the coin shop. We got Red Diane, which is fine, I guess. She's not great. She's definitely not good. Oh, do they go over her they don't go over her unique. Uh, I'll pull it up real quick and read it to you so you have it. So many things. So many things. Uh, her unique is uh, you get one alt orb at the end of battle. Uh, so everybody gets one for everybody. So not too bad. It's pretty usable. Um, she is a particularly strong character overall because having an ultimate advantage over your opponent usually means you win faster. So not too bad. So uh, the coin shop has Red Diane in it. Uh, I don't think anybody asked for this. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and buy me some of these because I need my five for when Gother inevitably shows up several years down the line. Um, so that's a big concern for a lot of players right now, especially people that have played JP primarily. Um, there's no consistency in the timeline from JP to global, which we sort of guessed. But they're also running banner split, so we're getting one unit a week, which, unless you're spending money, you are going to run out of diamonds. Uh, get you on your PvP grind is what I'll tell you. Um, that tends to be what everybody is doing for... Um, 
lack of a better word. Uh, there are some quality of life updates. So you can only see a ticket banner that you can pull on. So like the regular diamond ticket banners show up. And if you have the tickets for a different banner, they'll show up and you can rotate to it. So that's pretty good. Uh, I'm sure all of you have noticed the chat bar. Um, this is the updated version. So originally when it came out in JP, it was just balls out everything. Um, and now it is, uh, you can mute certain things. You can go to your knighthood. You can do a lot of little stuff. Uh, they also have global chats, which are, uh, too much. It's too much! Uh, we also have been blessed by global. We can buy a Diane sticker pack. Is she not in this one, or is she in the bundles? I think she's in the bundles. Which is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. There it is. You can pay $4 to get stickers. Uh, but we got those for free in JP, so I don't know, dudes. There's some weird stuff going on. So, a lot of players are a little upset just because of the consistency problems. Um, also, uh, banner fatigue is real. Like, we are going to start running into units that just get hard skipped because you don't really know what kind of volatility and timing there's going to be. So, um, be careful. Uh, Green Merlin is definitely worth it, but... I mean, there's still a dozen other units who are also just as... I say a dozen. There's like four other units that are absolutely worth it that you may want to save for. Like, Escanor will eventually come out. Um, the coin shop is a bit of a weird place right now because even in the patch notes, they said that the uh, green bond may be added to the coin shop at some point. And usually that language in Japan means that it's coming. It's just an indeterminate amount of time. But that is kind of a worry for global players because a lot of these units you didn't have to worry about pulling on because you would just go get them in the coin shop eventually. So big concern out of that. Um, take it as you will. I'm not an expert on any of it, but that seems to be the agreed upon concern. Um, we do have a couple of new events going on. There's a brand new growth event. You can get a bunch of goblets, a bunch of uh, SSR and UR treasures. You got to fight these three knuckleheads. Uh, you got the power-up event. Uh, you get tickets from the power-up event, which is really cool. And uh, if you go anything in Fuller Solgris, you can get these little blue tickets, power-up tickets. Uh, they reset daily. Uh, the exchange shop resets every 24 hours, I want to say. So you can drain it and it will reset. Um, you can get Demon's Blood, Water Life, Evolution Pendants, SSR Pendants! That's right, you heard it here. 25 tickets only. Um, if you leave it on auto farm, you can get 25 in about a half an hour, so it's not too bad. Um, you're probably going to be dumping some stamina into this one because this is the only way I know to get SSR pendants real quick, guaranteed. Um, so I would recommend putting a little bit of time into it. You can also get uh, Great Demon Wings, uh, Red Demon Horns for your Evolve or for your Limit Breaks. They sell treasures and the five-star... Grimoires, I don't know if you're really going to need it. They also sell uh, two different kinds of Awakening Stones, the three and four star. Um, SSR Pendants are probably going to be your bread and butter because they do not give those out very often, and that is a hell of a resource to be able to grind out multiple times a day. Because I think you can get, what, three a day? Wait, look, where, where are you? Shh, tell me your secrets. Yeah, you can get three a day, it resets every day, and we've got 20 days remaining? No. We've got uh, 16 days, I think. Yeah, 16 days. Which is wild, because that's uh, 50... What is it? 3 times 16... Fifty-eight. That's pretty good. You're definitely going to need them, especially because unless you're doing PvP or your knighthoods every week, you're not getting that many. I mean, even in PvP, I don't think they reward them. So you got to sort of get lucky in your uh, in your regular grindings. Uh, we do have new outfits that I'll show off real quick because some of these are kind of cool. Uh, so Gil Thunder got the drip, uh, according to my boy Zen. 
Um, hating on the uh, hating on the haircut though. He uh, looks a little better with his neat coif. Jericho looking all right. Decent armor, not too bad. I actually really like the Gila armor, but she is also not crazy useful. Not a huge fan of the hair though. It's kind of kind of reminds me of the wizard from Diablo three. Weirds me out, man. So that is your big update for this patch. Um, we do have some more stuff coming out this week. We've got War of the Visions getting released uh, tomorrow. Uh, so expect a reroll guide and everything out of that. Um, I've got a collab with Neo on Knighthoods. Uh, we might see either Sora or Ignan if they've got time. We do not know for sure yet, but that'd be a really cool thing to sit down and do with them. Um, it may end up being a goof. Uh, me and Stouthelm are working on kind of a joke video to keep you guys tied over for Seven Deadly. Um, there's a lot of stuff in the pipe in it, so uh, keep up with us. We've got my boy uh, Scuba, the main face of Fort Misery, is working on uh, Ninja Tribes. Nardo x Bardo, uh, Bardo's dad versus Bardo. And uh, those are going up daily, so if those are things you're liking, you know, reach out to us. If there's a game you want us to cover, give us a holler. Um, the Mega Man X gotcha game just came out on the Taiwanese store, so I'm, or the Singapore store, so I might try to see if I can get a copy of it for a review. Um, which would be pretty cool, because I think everybody loves Mega Man. I can't think of a single person who doesn't. So, uh, that's it. I've, we've got the same vendor announcement at the end of this. Uh, don't get miserable getting Merlin. Please don't get miserable playing global. We need you. Uh, Pain Shop is still up for iOS. You can reach out to him. I have his data, his contact info for Discord and on Twitter. Uh, tell him we sent you to see if to guarantee the pricing. Um, still going strong. They are just bulk iTunes cards. There aren't any chargebacks on this one, so there's no fear of getting banned or any nonsense like that. They're actually legit. It's those Costco discounts you're getting in this apocalypse. All right, that's it from us. So we will see you uh, tomorrow with uh, War of the Visions and probably some more Seven Deadly Sense. Y'all be good.